like that demon homeless, you gotta keep order without compromising order. Hello, somebody. You see, a lot of people have what I call external order. Yeah. But they got internal hell. Well, come on. And so the appearance of order is not order. And so one thing you do in church is you build your systems and substructures so strong so it can hold order even if the pastor's not there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and so uh, when people say, Pastor, every time you go, everybody act crazy in your pulpit. Uh, everybody start doing things they shouldn't do. You don't think I know about that? That's all right. Uh, they, everybody act crazy. They extend the time. You get the preacher up at 12 o'clock. They get them up at 12 o'clock. When you're not there, uh, that don't bother me, you understand? Because we're putting in some structure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, because we're trying to get order at another level. Don't go by the appearance order. Have the reality of order so you can keep seven other demons from not coming back. Oh, oh my God, I don't have enough time to preach all of this by myself. So I just got to get out of your way. If you're going to keep demons homeless, make sure you keep demons out of your own home before you bring them to the church home. Oh, I, I'm about to close because there's more demons, spirits, disembodied spirits. Demons can't operate without a body. And many times when they found this order in the church, they track each member back to test in the order in the church transferable to the order at home. Yes, sir. And when the order in the church is not transferable, that's what the anointing, when it flows from Aaron Beer all the way down to his garment. Uh, so when we're really doing what we should do as the authority uh, in the church, the man and woman of God, the anointing of order should flow through them and their congregation should be receiving the same blessing, the same anointing, the same gifting, the same financial. I tell my church, I can't be rich is you poor uh, so you gotta come with me because I ain't gonna be poor no, we, we, everybody's gonna be blessed together we are family I got all my brothers and my sisters with me uh, we, we going up together if we don't go up together ain't nobody going up I'm gonna wait till you ready and you gonna come up high because we are about to go somewhere and I believe the name of this church when you see it New Living Way uh, you think that's an accident that's revelatory uh, God saying there's a new way to live and and it's a new living way. And if you're going to go to the next level, you better hold to the garment that the anointing is on. You better hold to authority. You better hold to the...